it's modest when you wear a dress or a skirt. That's not not with something revealing, showing backside and whatever else, right? That's for your husband. But one day, if you have a husband, that's for him. Every man that sees you like that, right? Guess what he gonna do? Ooh, did you see that? And not keeping the commandment, we don't know where we are, what we're supposed to get John 14, 15. So we have to continue in, in the word of the Most High. And if by not continuing, we're not keeping this commandment. Read that. John chapter 14 and verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. He says, if you love me, do what? Keep my commandments. Read. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. So, drop down to verse 21. John chapter 14 and verse 21. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father. So, it's telling you, Christ, those are Christ's words saying, keep the commandments. If you love him, you will keep the commandments. If you don't love him, you won't keep the commandments. And the Bible tells you that, it shows us that our pastors, these pastors these days, are teaching our people the scripture. We come out here into the highways and byways to show our people who they are according to the Bible and to give them the truth. Read. Micah chapter 3 and verse 11. The heads thereof judge for reward. So it's saying these preachers preach and teach for reward. What? Money. Read. And the priests thereof teach for hire. They teach for money. Right? So what will we show you? What are they not teaching? Get uh, Malachi 2 and 7. They're not teaching what his lips should be saying. We're going to show you what his lips should be doing. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. His lips should keep knowledge, and he should be teaching you these laws. But that's not what they're doing, they, because they teach for hire. They're not showing you according to the Bible what you should be doing. And that is keeping these laws, that's the commandment. And if you're not keeping these laws, that's the commandment, there's a consequence for that. That's death behind that, is that it? I'm sorry. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they shall seek the law at his mouth. They should seek the, the Bible, meaning the law at his mouth. What should be coming out of his lip or at his mouth is the law, statutes, and commandments. Read. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. He's the messenger of the Lord of hosts, but he's not giving you these laws, statutes, and commandments. Hey, sis, how, hey uh, sis and bro, y'all come down here for a minute and let us talk to you. So, our pastors today aren't doing what they're supposed to do in teaching the word. Got it? 34, I think it's 34. Pastor, my pastor. The pastors aren't teaching our people according to the Bible. Right? So, what, we, we're, what we're doing is coming out to compel you to come back in and keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. Right? Ezekiel chapter 34 and verse 8. As I live, save the Lord God, surely because my flock became a prey, and my flock became meat to every beast of the field, because there was no shepherd. Neither did my shepherds search for my flock. So the shepherds aren't doing, meaning these pastors, these fake preachers and teachers out here aren't telling our people what they are. They, they have left us, they, they left us alone, trying to figure out who we are, what we should be doing according to the Bible. Right. Our people don't want to listen. They don't want to listen to what the Bible said. And by not listening, we can't teach them. They don't want to hear, they, they've got closed ears. But what we are, we're out here doing is showing our people who they are according to the Bible. What's, what's your nationality? I'm black, white, Indian. Black, white, Indian. What's your father? Uh, white, Indian. White, and Indian? Yeah. What's his father? I don't know. I'm, I was in foster care, so I was kind of... You was in foster care? Yeah. So you know your biological mm -hmm. My mother, she she got killed when I was 14. I'm from Miami. You're from Miami? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, bear, bear with us, right? Yeah, that's okay. So, what we're going to be trying to show you is who you are going to the fight. But when you put down your resume or your application, what do you put? I'm black. You put down that you. So you're black. On the sign that shows you what black blacks are. Yeah. Right? Jew in the Bible. Right? Yeah. So you come from the same lineage as Christ. Right? So what we're showing to come to say you're black, right? It's black. It's you're supposed to go by what your father is. 
Exactly. Get that. Let's get that. You are who your father is, right? Read. Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. So but the, he said pedigree. They declared their pedigree, their, their, their lineage, their race. By the house of what? By the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names. So they, you know who you are according to your father, right? But if you say, we're not, we're, we're not necessarily harping on that. We're showing you who you are according to the Bible, right? Because you said, so what we're showing you is that you have to come back to the laws, that's the demand, right? You say, when you put on a resume, you say you put that you are an American black, right? Guess who else comes from that tribe? Who, who else do you think comes from that tribe? Read. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So it's proof that he comes from that same tribe that you come from. So you got the blood of Christ running through your way. So you are uh, uh, an Israelite according to the Bible. So what we're showing you is that you recognize that you are a child of God, right? Right? Because why? Did your people go into slavery? It's slavery in the Bible. I don't think it is. You don't think it is? Got that? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So, is slavery in the Bible? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, Read. by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. He said, read from the top, read from the top, let's go to read from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee. So how did the people of the Bible get over here? Say yo, wait, got over here, how? Ship, right? So what do uh, Call them cruise line ships. What kind of ships were them? Wooden boats. I don't know. So, the cargo slave ship came over here on cargo slave ship. You heard of slave ship, right? Yeah. Right? It's in the Bible. So, we're showing you that how they got over here on transport over here was on cargo slave ship. Slave ship. Three. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. So what we will not see again? If we left one place going to another place, we don't know where we're going. So you just left home, right? You came to this land, right? Three. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So when we got off the Congo slave ships, we were sold into slavery. Down here on the side, you see what auction blocks, right? See the auction blocks when they brought us over here on the slave ship? They sold, sold us into slavery, right? They, nigga, 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 sold to Mr. Charles and Charles. Nigga, 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 sold to Mr. Johnson in Virginia, right? So what we're showing you is that our heritage is the Bible. It's in the Bible, right? So by you by you not knowing that, it, it, and you identify who, that you're an Israelite, we're showing you in the Bible that it, it's proof that, that slavery is in the Bible, right? Right? So, in showing you that, now that you know who you are, now that we're showing you who you are, right? What color is Christ? Let me ask you that. What the, yeah, just that, we're going to ask that one question and we're going to let you go. What color is Christ? I feel like he's black. He's black? You, you, you think that's in the Bible? Yeah, um, with, um, what, wool, clothing and all that? It's wool, as you said, woolly hair? Yeah. Hell like wool, right? Read that. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So he had white hair, white beard, bloodshot eyes. Why? Why was his eyes red? Why was his eyes red? Why was his eyes red? What was his first miracle? Read that. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. So it says his eyes shall be red with wine. You know when you drink a little bit, the whites of your eyes shall red, right? So it says eyes shall be, you don't know that? I don't drink. Oh, well, you don't drink, but I'm saying, when we drink, our eyes turn, whites of our eyes turn red, read. Revelation chapter one and verse 14. 
His head and his hairs were white like wool. It says his head and his hairs were white like wool. Read. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine grass. So if you looked at your feet, don't you say your feet and the rest of your body is pretty much the same color, right? Uh, yeah. Sometimes it's a little lighter it's because up. they have socks on, right? Right, not a little discoloration, but all in all, your body it's like a question, it, 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 it matches each other. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, read. And his feet like unto fine grass. What color is grass? Gold, gold is like bronze. Bronze, bronze, brown is looking, right? Yeah, it's that's a what derivative, I'm It's a derivative of brown, right? Read. Yeah. As if they burned in a furnace. If you take anything, you toss it in the fire. What color is it? What? Huh? Ash. No. Black. What color? Black. I was red and black. Black, <laughs> right. You turned black, right? Read. As if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sounds of many waters. So it's telling that your savior was a very dark skinned man. Like the picture that, that's given to us, they portray him as a white man. Right? That's not true. You said you believe he's white. And you're right to believe that you know you believe he's black. You know, you can tell something told you that the, the Messiah is a black man from the tribe of Judah, right? So, now that you know that, right? You know, you, you knew some of that, right? But we pointed it out to you in the Bible in Revelation, right? So, let me give you one quick law before you go. One quick law. Get through Romans 22. We're going to hold you too long. Oh, well, we come out here to show, we're not, we're not, we're not out here to bash our people no, or, or, you know, to curse them out. Okay. Right, so we come out here to show you stuff that you don't know about the Bible. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Hold on, what'd you say? What, what, what you got on pertain to a man? Well, they say pants. Pants, right? Mm -hmm. So she knows, right? Now that you know what yeah. you got to do. You know now what you have to do. Uh, We're going to finish the first, then I'm going to explain to you. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So you saw me standing here with a dress on with a heel. They do that too. You would think, yeah, they do it, but <laughs> wouldn't you think that was strange? Yeah, but I know isn't that, that, isn't that, strange? that pertaining so, to a female. So in the eyes of God, don't you think it's strange, don't you think it's strange that you have um, underwear? That's, that's, leggings are underwear. They're made to go under your skirt or your dress. Right. Right? See, that came from our oppressor. The white women put them on, and then they got our sisters to start doing it. So Jane Fonda was one of the main ones in the 60s, in the 70s, well, in the 70s and 80s, when spandex were lit with uh, thongs. So, what we're telling you is that you have to come out of that apparel, right? And start wearing dresses and skirts. Why? Because it's, it's modest when you wear a dress or a skirt. That's not, not with something revealing, showing backside and whatever else, right? That's for your husband. So one day if you have a husband, that's for him. Every man that sees you like that, right? Guess what he gonna do? Ooh, did you see that? That's what, no, it does matter, sis. Modesty. You said make a man like that. I said it don't even matter what I put on. I put on a blanket, walk out here, they still do the same thing. Yeah, but they won't see what they see now. That's the difference. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So it's an abomination. What's an abomination? I gotta this go. Is an abomination to I gotta God. go. Huh? I gotta go. You gotta go? Yeah, I gotta go. Like, for real. I so, gotta go okay. to my salon, so, and then I gotta go to my salon. Okay. Listen to this while you walk away. Go ahead. Read. Yeah. The, the judgment for wearing pants. Why you shouldn't wear well, immodest apparel, right? Read. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. He said, strange apparel, that's strange apparel you got. That will stop you from getting into the king. Wearing strange apparel, so you have to cover it up. You say it doesn't matter what you wear, when you came out here in a box or a blanket. Because I'm, I'm a chosen one, so if, if I get the anointing uh, pulled to me, I gravitate to people. You get eyes pulled to you. I'm saying, people energy, I have a certain energy and it make people, I draw people to me. 
Right, but so that, that's what but, I'm saying. So, like, so, it, it so doesn't. What I'm telling you is, is that. My, it might as a apparel draw people to you too. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.